with me. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1-1. That's where art begins. Now then, we're going to do a quick review today of lines. And we're going to be learning more about lines. Put your arms in the air. Vertical. Vertical. Horizontal. Vertical. Vertical. Horizontal. Diagonal. 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 Or there's another word for diagonal. Oblique. 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 The windshield wipers go back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth, the windshield wipers go back and forth, and they make diagonal lines. Yes, sir. I just noticed you also Spanish teacher. I am. I also do Spanish. You're exactly right. Okay. A dot that takes a walk makes a line. If I have a dot right here, and I take it for a walk, it makes a line. Say that. A dot that takes a walk makes a line. A dot that takes a walk makes a line. A dot that takes a walk makes a line. A dot that takes a walk makes a line. Vertical. Vertical. Horizontal. Horizontal. Vertical. Vertical. Horizontal. Horizontal. Diagonal. 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 Or, what's the other word for it? Oblique. 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 Exactly. Slanted lines. Now then, I want you to take out a crayon. You have a sheet there in front of you. Take out a red crayon for me. Take out a red crayon. Everybody just get the red crayon. Okay, hold your crayon in your hand. And go up and down in front of you with it. Up and down vertical. Up and down vertical. Here we go on the side here. Up and down vertical in this first square or rectangle here. Up and down vertical. Up and down vertical. Up and down vertical. Up and down vertical. Over here, do it again. Up and down vertical. Up and down vertical. Now I'm going to change colors just so you can see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to go to blue. Exactly. Now look. Back and forth horizontal in this rectangle right here. Back and forth horizontal. Back and forth horizontal. Back and forth horizontal. Do this one down here at the bottom. Back and forth, horizontal, back and forth, horizontal. So we're supposed to change crayons? Uh, to blue. So you have a different one. Just leave your lid open so you can get to them easily. That'll be good. And I'm going to use one more color just so you can see what's going on. What kind of line is this right here? Can anybody tell me? Yes, sir. Um... Diagonal. Now follow the diagonal and go back and forth diagonal. And make it get skinnier. The lines get shorter as it goes to the corner. Do the same thing on the other side. Back and forth diagonal and make it get shorter as it goes to the corner. Exactly. Good job. Wow. 
So we've reviewed our lines now, and we're going to see how our lines make shapes. Lines make shapes, shapes make pictures. That's the magic of lines. Horizontal, well, I know y'all are still catching up, but horizontal, vertical. Horizontal, vertical. What shape is that? A square. Now look, a dot that takes a walk makes a line. A dot that takes a walk. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna make this dot take a walk to the corner of the square. Dot to the corner of the square. What do I have? A house. A house. But what's the shape on top of the square? Triangle. Triangle. Lines make shapes, shapes make pictures. That's the magic of lines. Vertical. Vertical. Horizontal. What shape is that? Rectangle. But what else is it? A door. Vertical. Horizontal. Vertical. Horizontal. Vertical. Horizontal. Vertical. Horizontal. Windows square. Windows that are square, exactly. Now then, this is where some magic happens with lines. Look what happens if I make a diagonal out, diagonal out. What did I just do? A sidewalk. A sidewalk. But look at the shapes that are here. Who can tell me what shape that is? Rectangle. Mm. I'll draw it over here to the side. Square. Mm -mm. Square. Begins Hexagon. with a T. Hexagon. <laughs> well, you're getting warmer. Yes, sir. Elephant. Uh, you're getting close. Yes, sir. Trapezoid. Trapezoid. Oh, exactly. Y'all are so smart. Look at the trapezoids on top of each other. Do you see the trapezoids? Mm -hmm. Lines make shapes, shapes make pictures. That's the magic of lines. Look what happens when I add another horizontal line. Did I put a street down there? I did. Now then, I'm gonna make a really tall triangle. What is that gonna be? A tree. A tree. Look, I'm gonna make a nice big oval over here. What is that gonna be? Another tree. Another tree. What happens if I put a little circle there? What is a that going to be? A bush. That's exactly right. So on your sheet of paper there, I want you to draw in the box below where the picture is what you see in the picture. Put the lines in there and make um, your um, use your lines to make shapes.